there are tales, even video, of the unexplained darting through the night sky. I know we're not alone. And on a Kentucky hillside. We're 40 feet off the ground over here. Undeniable sightings. It's not like anything I've ever seen in person before. That have people talking. Open sesame. Like aliens. Nano, nano. This UFO landed in Covington. Well, the Lord provides strange things, okay? And this is one of them. Say, greetings, Earthling, to Rob Detzel, the owner of the often visited. I get three or four cars a day, all different people. Futuro home. And then that's the bedroom in there. That looks like Austin Powers decorated it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, and here's the little bathroom in here. Uh, wait, somebody's in there. I would love to live in something like this. Few people do. They're sprinkled across the country. The Los Angeles Hills, Virginia Woods, and there's one perched on top of a Tampa strip club. Hey, You've got to go way back, not quite light years, to figure out how it ended up here. Sputnik was in 69, so everybody's still crazy about spaceships. And this was thought to be the future of living. Its name is Futura, House of the Future. We're confident a lot of people would be happy to have one of these next door. Detzel, who sported this long hair and a stash at the time, saw it in a magazine and phoned home. I mean, the guy who owned the manufacturing rights in the U.S. He said, I had a big party last night, and I burned all the molds up. He said, I only got two left. He said, I don't know if you want him to sell you one or not. You'd have to come up here and party with us on the weekend. I told him that was no problem whatsoever. He likes a bourbon. The deal worked. Detzel displayed it in home and garden shows across the country. We never made any money, but it was really neat. In Atlantic City, and they somehow squeezed it into a Cincinnati area mall. We only had an inch and a half clearance on each side to bring the thing in. Before it finally found its new world, or home, Kentucky. I could definitely kick it in there. This is the kitchen, stove, refrigerator. Detzel does use it to entertain these days. A few cocktails parties now and then. He flips on the disco ball, deck lights, and some space jams. It does create quite the atmosphere and partiers have an out-of-this-world view of Cincinnati. I mean, how many guys have a spaceship they can go to? Only a few. Oh, no. At least we think. In Covington with photojournalist Dominic Furman, Chris Suter, WDRB News.